Hi everyone, I'm Blackie Wolf, back with another dev tip from you to me. No, 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 from me to you. Um, today's dev tip is very simple. Well, actually, before I get into that, for those of you who haven't realized it, uh, I make these dev tips when I don't want to work on the main series uh, that I'm working on for that day, and or I just don't have time, but I still want to try and contribute so I don't, uh, I'm not as useless, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I still want to put something out there. Well, today's dev tip is simply this. Don't be afraid to try something new. And that is so important as a software developer because things in the industry change so often. New tools come out. Um, there's new technologies. There's new languages. There's new practices, procedures. There's new principles. There's new specs. So many new things. And you just got to get used to trying them all. And not only trying them all, but learning how to... Um, filter out which ones are good and which ones are bad but that that's a that's another that's another tip for another night so in the first dev tip i talked about signing up for a newsletter well these newsletters will often have something in there that you might have never heard about before uh, one of the things i came across a few months ago was a testing framework called ava never heard about ava before in fact i would i was completely new to testing when i heard about it and I'd done some testing with Angular, uh, Angular 4 through 7 using, I think they use Karma and Jest and Mocha, like a mix of all three or something like that. But uh, I wanted something better. I didn't really like them. And I've, I found this Ava site, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try out this code. Just give it a try. And you know what, I really like working with Ava. Using the test, like making these tests reminds me a lot about um, using C Sharp unit tests with the MS test suite or with uh, the in unit test or sorry X unit test and if I'd been too afraid to try out this I would have never found such an awesome tool and that's one of the things you have to be careful of as a software developer is being too apprehensive about trying to do things a different way because I'm gonna be honest there is no one-size-fits-all solution for every problem there just isn't some languages work better for something more so than others. Sometimes you use Angular, sometimes React is better, sometimes Vue is the best way to go. Sometimes you want to see, use C-sharp, sometimes you want to use PHP. Uh, maybe you want to use MongoDB, maybe SQL Server is a better option. Maybe using Azure DevOps is the best because you can have your source code and CI CD pipeline set up in one place. Or maybe using GitHub, which technically you can do the same thing, but maybe you don't need the capabilities of Azure DevOps. And it's just uh, things like that over and over. This truly is a jack of all trades, master of none kind of work, at least what I do. There are front end, back end uh, developers and stuff. There's full stack. I think I mentioned it in one of the videos. I'm not really a software developer as much as I am a troubleshooter where I just try and figure out how to use software and IT technology to solve business problems. And I really enjoy problem solving quite a bit. It's like strategy for me. But if I had been too afraid to try out new stuff, I never would have been able to see the differences, the pros, the cons, benefits, disadvantages of using different tools and stuff. And it would make my ability to develop and manage applications uh, more difficult. But yeah, the tip for me today is don't be afraid to try something new. You never know where it could lead you. Don't be afraid of failure um, unless you might die, in which case I, I'd be a little apprehensive in that situation. But other than that, go for it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You learn from it. You move on. Guys, I hope you found this tip useful. If you like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.